been so upset. I accidentally put eczema cream on my toothbrush. <sighs> we need to go back to India. I told you, give it time. I'm afraid to give it any more time. We've only been here two days. Exactly. And in that short span, Kamal's gone mute. Vinod wants to be a garbage man and Banu's touching the neighbor's penis. I agree none of that is ideal, but kids in all countries do stupid things. None of this has anything to do with America specifically. Mm, my medical license approval process is a racist insult and has everything to do with America. If we were in any other country, I could legally cut someone open right now. I've been a surgeon for 10 years, Mahesh. What am I supposed to do while I wait for them to decide I'm good enough? Drive Uber? I hear Lyft has better rates. You're not listening. My life was perfect in India. I can't even find a Bollywood station here. Just 20 stations of ass, beach, and ho. India wasn't so paradise, Suda. There's just as many bad things there. Nothing like here. You're being selective. People don't call us duck heads there. There's still plenty of racism. You know, I wasn't circumcised as a kid because Hindus in our village pulled down your pants to check if you were a circumcised Muslim. You're not Muslim. That's the point. My parents had to take measures to let everyone know I was a Hindu so I wasn't beaten up by other racist Hindus. All I am saying is that I was better off in India. How did this suddenly become about you and your foreskin? It's about the fact that no matter where you are, there's always good and bad. India is dirty and corrupt. I could never start my own business there without endless government bribes. It's not like that here. There's real opportunity. So, we're putting your career ahead of mine. Wonderful. Why do you hurt me like that? Stop overblowing everything. You're overblowing. The hospital said it's just a small delay. Be patient. Please. Uh, don't. I'm returning it to Costco. There is no way we are staying here. Remember our wedding vows? You pledged to serve and please me to the best of your abilities. <laughs> I only agree to those vows because your parents are so traditional. You can't hate India for the corruption and love it for the patriarchy. I hear you, Briar. I do. And I'll consider everything you said. But let's just go on to sleep on it. They say you should never make big decisions at night. You sleep on the couch. Does anyone here eat vegetables? I guess not. Oh. Hi, how'd it go? I found my factory. I'm happy for you. I only found eight of the 32 spices I need and everyone here is racist, rude, and fat. Suda. Just give it a chance. I'm trying. I really am. <gasps> no more candy for you? You're going to get diabetes, pediatric diabetes, and lose your feet? Who are you talking to? <laughs> Here's some okra, baby. I'm a doctor. You're welcome for the free medical advice. <gasps> it's the hospital. Finally. <laughs> I have to go, Manish. Wait, who are you talking to? Dr. Suda Pradeep speaking. Hi, Dr. Pradeep. I'm calling from Albany General to give you an update. Your license approval process is still a bit delayed. I started the process a month ago. How much longer is this going to take? Maybe another month. There's a backlog. We just place it in front of the queue. I need to start working. Please! I can't spend my days at Costco. Or just let me start in the meantime. I won't tell anyone. Dr. Pradeep, you can't just be a secret surgeon. We'll call you with any updates. Have a nice day.